What is good, everybody? Today we are taking a look at the WWE Elite Series 108 Omos and Chelsea Green figures. But this is, of course, a two-in-one review here with Omos and Chelsea Green. Looking forward to these because the first go-around, the Elite 97 Omos was one of the better figures of the year when that figure came out. I don't think it was last year. I think it was the year before. Elite Series 97? Or was that last year? Holy crap. No, it was the year before. You dumb moron. And then we have Chelsea Green's first Elite. Now, she did get a couple basics before this, but I never grabbed those. So this is actually my first Chelsea Green figure. Excited to dive into the figure, see what it's all about, of course. No stranger to wrestling figures herself, but I'm intrigued to unbox these, and if you're intrigued to unbox these or get these in your collection, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save 10% at checkout, of course, over there. I'd greatly appreciate it. Pick up all your wrestling action figures over at Ringside Collectibles. But with Omos and Chelsea Green, I am intrigued. I'm intrigued to see here what we have going on here. I didn't think that it was necessary to have an Omos figure, but here we are. And when I say that, I'm saying in terms of an updated figure here, but he looks good here. I like the gear there. I want to say, is this his WrestleMania? Oh, yeah. This is his WrestleMania matchup with Brock Lesnar, which I think is the only matchup. I went to night one and night two of WrestleMania last year. This is the only matchup I missed because I got to the show later than I was supposed to. Check out the vlog on the channel. But there's our Omos figure. Excited to see what we got there. And then we do have Chelsea Green here. So she has her hat on there. Looking pretty good in the packaging there. Question marks about this figure, man. We're going to dive in and see what the whole lore is. But I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued to see what Chelsea Green's first Elite is. I was there at Comic-Con when she was there and this figure was unveiled to her, so I'm, I'm intrigued. We're going to find out what this figure is finally about all these months later, man. But with all that being said, let's shut the hell up and crack these figures out of the packaging. So here's Chelsea Green and Omos out of the packaging, man. I'm actually quite impressed with both of these figures, man. And I got to give a real big props and tip of the cap, as Chelsea Green is doing here, I guess, to Mattel for the things that they've done with these figures. And we're going to dive into all the lore, man. You guys know that I, I'm, I'm coming I come in hot in the reviews. And so, you know, I really want to break down what you're getting here and what they've done and, and just kind of break down all of the lore, as we like to say around here. It's just become kind of my catchphrase at this juncture. I don't know. Weird vocabulary going on over here. If, you're, if you've been around on the channel, but let's first start off with Chelsea Green's accessories that she comes with, and then we'll dive into the figure itself, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Omos's accessories and dive into his figure. All right, so for Chelsea Green's accessories, you get some cloth goods here, you get the hat, and you get some interchangeable hands. So with our cloth goods here, man, I've never been a fan of this. I think it's, is it called Twill? Like, I don't know the exact name of this material. I want to say it's like, I can't remember it. I want to say it's Twill or something like that, but I don't, I don't like this fabric, how it like bows out there. I know it like, it's for dresses and different, you know, skirts and tutus and things like this, but I don't I don't like it. It like poofs out and it like knocks shish over. I don't know. I'm just not a fan of it. But I guess it does look good on the figure. And it does Velcro around her waist right here, which looks good on the figure. Like it does work. It's just I don't I'm not gonna use this. And it is cloth goods, but like I don't I don't know. It's just a lie. So yeah, that's our that's our cloth goods right here, man. I just it's just like a ball of I don't know. I mean I guess if you have room on the shelf for it, it just that's a lot of space right there, man, for all this poofiness. Outside of that, you do get the Chelsea Green hat here with the CG on there. Kind of paint splotchy a little bit is what I'm noticing here, but it does it it looks pretty good for the most part. Little paint inaccuracies or, you know, the studs and whatnot. But wish they could have got some of that shine in there. I don't think it was this basic or flat. But it fits the figure pretty well here, bringing in the head sculpt here and then plopping that on there. Yeah, it hooks pretty good there. So that's really all you can ask for. For the most part, I think it gets the job done. Then for interchangeable hands, you do get the mic holding hands. No nail polish or anything. Don't know if that's accurate or not. But she does have her wrist gauntlet designs sleeve deals going over her hands there painted on. And the pegs are painted as well. So that's good. You don't get the skin break. And then we get the... The Elite 94 Stephanie McMahon hands. I think that's what these are. She's got like the bendy finger here. But I want to say the Stephanie McMahon fingers were longer. I'm not entirely sure. I don't have those figures in hand here. But she's got the same designs on there. But she does have shush or the sh on her finger there. I don't know if that's actually tattooed on her or not. I want to say doesn't Rihanna or something like that have that. I'm not entirely sure. But she does have longer fingernails on there as they are sculpted. I do believe this is the Elite 94 Stephanie McMahon hands though if I'm not mistaken. But she can do the you know the shush tell you to what you got. You you guys guessed it tell you to shut the hell up or point at you and tell you to shut the hell up or both look at that she can point at you here and then put her finger up to her mouth and tell you to shut the hell up so i mean she's she's way ahead of herself but again no nail polish or anything which again i don't remember if that's accurate but there's the interchangeable hands all right so getting into chelsea green's head sculpt i just don't really care for this man i i think i see what they were going for but i don't think it quite like her eyes seem kind of dead right like it's not very lifelike like i guess it favors her a little bit but i guess it's trying to go for that shush face or you know she 
she's shushing or what have you, but I don't know, man. I think they could have done a lot better here. It's kind of a resting face, but I don't know. I, uh, I don't know. I think her smiling head sculpt might have been a little bit better, but I do like some of the things it's got going on, but it kind of looks a little jacksy to me for whatever reason. But I like the, the the hair sculpt is nice. I like the hair color there with the ombre. That's pretty good going on there. She does have the sculpted top on right here. Silver and blue looking pretty good there. Kind of a concord grapish color, sort of. One thing about women's figures that typically kind of bothers me a little bit is there's no bicep. And I know women aren't out here. You know, there's not a ton of women out here with just gigantic biceps, but look how just flat, continuous it is. Even if it's, even if it's more real, like sometimes, I've talked about this before, sometimes you gotta make sacrifices or you have to design things that look better aesthetically, even if they're not the most 100% accurate. Her arm may look like this, resting down, but sometimes for sort of similar to like a Scott Steiner situation, it looks like his arms are flexed for the most part on his Elite 105 figure. I think they could do something here to design that bicep a little bit more and groove that out, but she does have the pinless arms. She's got the design sleeves going on on the back. She's got the off shoulder or the one shoulder design there. Designs continuing all the way around. Her thighs are painted a shade darker than her stomach or her skin tone there to simulate the leggings or the nets or whatever the hell you want to say there. And then she does have these sculpted on knee pads here, which look really good. And they are pinless, of course. This is a brand new leg mold here. And the ultimate question is going to be, does she have boot cut? And I'm just so thankful to Jesus Christ in heaven that she actually does have boot swivel. Looking at this figure, I was very worried, man, because this lower leg is essentially the entire lower leg is a boot. I was very afraid that they weren't going to give her any shin cut or boot cut, and that would have been upsetting, but I like the added detail of the, the laces missing up here. This is a lot of new sculpts going on here on this figure, man. One thing I am finding is my feet are a little bit loose, so that does kind of bother me there, but the boots look good and everything. But for this Chelsea Green figure, man, a lot of Mattel head sculpts, because they're on a ball joint and not a ball hinge, you don't really get any head articulation, but you do get the diaphragm here. A little bit loose on mine, but not terrible. On this women's figure, a lot of women's figures struggle to get the shoulders all the way up and down, but hers does not not. You get the full bicep rotation and swivel, double jointed arm, which is very clean. She feels buttery smooth, can do the splits, can kick forward well. She is on ball joints, of course. Upper thigh cut, double jointed knee, which isn't as stiff as other pinless joints that we see typically, but looking pretty good here, man. I actually am enjoying how the figure feels in hand. I'm quite impressed with the figure, man. I think Mattel did a really good job on the execution of this figure. It's really, the only thing I'm lacking really in this figure is the head sculpt, and then the boots are a little bit loose here, like falling forward like John Cena, but let's get into some Chelsea green figure comparisons here. And for figure comparisons, we do have the Elite 64 Kurt Hawkins figure and the Elite 59, I think it was, Zack Ryder figure or Matt Cardona. It does have a custom head sculpt on there. We did a few fix-ups to that figure there. And I think these look pretty good up next to each other. You know, we're waiting. I'm waiting on like the other Super 7. I don't have the first Super 7, but I am getting the second Super 7 Matt Cardona. And I like the way these three look together. I think they look pretty good. Even though the Kurt Hawkins is pretty super outdated, so is the Matt Cardona or Zack Ryder figure. But, you know, they are Mattel Elites across the board. So, I, you know, these, these are all three in the main Elite line. So there's that. But that does it for our Chelsea Green figure comparison. So getting into Omos's accessories, you get some entrance garb and some interchangeable hands and it is rubber goods here which we tend to you know we don't really like but in this case it doesn't hinder anything I'm not really a big fan of sculpted up hoods just because I don't know I just don't like it that much not having the option to go up or down bothers me and it's not removable or anything so there's that but it does have nice you know omos here with the Greek style letters it's got the big circle on there got some more designs here on the back and then it goes down here man pretty large accessory if I do say so myself but here on the figure it also clasps which I don't think you necessarily need because you can just, you know, slide it on like that. And so there's, you know, there's that. But when you put the arms up here, it will come unclasped a little bit here. But I don't really mind it that much. You know, I don't, I, I don't know. I just don't hate it. I think it's okay. It's serviceable. I don't think it's egregious. And it, you know, it looks like what he wore. So I, I really don't have a, you know, I don't have skin in the game there. I think it's okay. Outside of that, for interchangeable hands, this is something I don't like. I really wish they'd give him larger hands. You know, guys like this or Brock Lesnar, Braun Strowman, guys like that, Andre the Giant, right? You need bigger hands, man. You're going to tell me Omos's hands are the same size as Seth Rollins or Finn Balor or somebody like that. It's just not accurate. So I would like to see a new hand mold for guys like Omos and things like that. So they are typical, you know, just fisted hands there with the skin tone, but at least the white wrist tape does have the white peg, so you don't get that skin break, which is always nice to see. And of course, the fists are to beat the hell out of people. And then, of course, he does come with mic holding hands that make the world go round, and again, he does have white pegs, with the skin tone there. These are very clean. Good job there, except for the little schmutz right there. 
All right, so getting into the Omos figure, starting out with a head sculpt, I'm pretty sure this is the exact same head sculpt we saw on his Elite 97. And it's a damn good head sculpt. I mean, this looks just like Omos, so I have no real quarrels with it whatsoever. I, I don't know how you'd have any quarrels with it. He's making a straight expression. He's not smiling or doing anything goofy. He looks pretty much like I've always seen him on WWE television, and that's really all you can ask for with this guy. Now, as far as the torso, I do believe this is the exact same torso we saw for Omos last time, except he does have the sculpted on, not sculpted on, but painted on designs here in this army green and white, which look good. And then you spin it around, he's got the designs on the back there with the green and the white and everything. Looking pretty good. Now one thing that you, I want you guys to notice about this figure is you look at this figure and it looks pretty normal. But these are brand new sculpted arms, man. You're probably thinking, what the hell are you talking about, Brad? Yeah, these are these are brand new arms. These are completely brand new. They are longer. They are, like, they extended the upper arm here. And I don't believe we've seen this on any other Elite to date. Now I'm going to bring in the other Omos figure here just for a quick comparison in this shot. And then we'll take a look at the full body shot here in a minute. But... Look at that right there, man. Like, pretty significant difference right there. So, yeah. Brand new arm mold. They extended that bicep right there. They made it... Like, the sculpt almost looks the same. It's like they just, you know, elongated a little bit. Same thing with the forearms. But it looks really good. They did a great job here. This is impressive. Great. Shout out to Mattel, man. That's huge props right there. Gonna have to talk to Bill out, you know, out in Philly about that right there. That's good stuff. So, we do have the elongated arms with the white wrist tape. And then we do have the same crotch pieces last time. And these are newly sculpted legs. You get these belts and buckles. You got the red painted on there. And on the back back there which is cool pinless legs in there which are what they are we'll get into the articulation in a moment but he does have these newly sculpted boots too so they went all in man a lot of new things going on in this wave new boots right here we've never seen before new feet and whatnot so i think omos is crushing it right here man look how damn big this man is and like just for comparison here's the chelsea green so it kind of just puts it into perspective how damn big this omos figure is and then you know put you know matt cardona or zach Ryder right here and that kind of shows you again how big this figure is man he towers over everybody as he should i mean he's what like 7-2, 7-3. But as far as articulation, he can kick forward decent. Double jointed knee, not as tight as usual on these pinless legs, so that is good to see here. Ankle rocker is a little loose here. Boot swivel is a little loose, not too, too bad there, but you do get the ab crunch, waist swivel, buttery smooth arms, which is always nice to see here. And again, man, you can see these new arms, and they just look awesome. They did a great job on these. Just really impressive right there. I like that. A huge shout out to Mattel for the new bicep, or the new arm sculpt right there. But let's get into some Omos figure comparisons here. And for your figure comparisons, here's the Elite 97 Omos on the left. You have the Elite 108 in the middle, and you have the Elite 108 Brock Lesnar to his right, which was his WrestleMania opponent wearing this gear. And all these look pretty solid. He towers over the Brock Lesnar as he should. And then again, man, look how long those arms are in comparison. Crazy stuff right there by Mattel, but I'm having fun with the Omos figure, man. I mean, his first figure felt really good in hand and did all the good things, so this one's uh, an upgrade. It definitely is an upgrade, which coming in, I thought it was just a repaint, so it's a huge props out there. But I think that about wraps up our 2-in-1 WWE Elite 108 Chelsea Green and Omos figure review, man. Really blown away by these figures, man. I mean, Omos's first Elite was really impressive. I really enjoyed the figure, but this one is actually a really great upgrade, man. We talked about the extension of the arms. I think that's genius. I haven't seen anybody talk about that, and I really never noticed it in the proto images, you know, at first glance, but looking at it in person, really cool improvement. Now, is that enough to pick the figure up? I'll leave that up to you, but I think it looks awesome. It really captures how giant the man is. Got to meet him last year back in Los Angeles and actually have met Chelsea Green too at San Diego Comic Con sort of like a passing through type thing and he is a giant. Like, Omos is an absolute menace to society. I mean, look, he is gigantic so I think they really captured that with the extension of the bicep and the upper arm there. Great new arm mold here. We do have some new leg molds going on. They, they brought a lot of new sculpts here. Now, do I think it was necessary or you know, maybe his Elite 97 wasn't good enough? I don't think so because I think his Elite 97 was so good. So you know, it made my top 10 figures of the year. Is this going to make it into the top 10? I'm not entirely sure at this juncture. You know, we have a ton of figures coming out this year, and we're going to break down all of that at the end of the year, of course. But I really like this figure a lot. It kind of blew me away what we have here. I like the boots and everything. It just, you kind of have to just pick your poison there on which, you know, you do you think it's do you think it's worth that upgrade? That'll be up to you. I also like the white wrist tape compared to the dark wrist tape last time. But yeah, I'm actually enjoying this Omos. I like this, man. That's good work there. And then on Chelsea Green, the only thing really hindering the figure in my opinion, is I think that they don't really give the women any definition in their arms, so their arms always look like just one long, continuous And that kind of bothers me. Like, you can't really tell where the bicep begins and ends, and that kind of bothers me about the women's figures. You know, you talk about constant improvement, constant, you know, trying to get better at these things. Also, her head sculpt's not the best. I really don't think that the head sculpt is great. I understand what they were trying to do here, but I feel
feel like her head sculpt looks a bit jacksy. Does it look like Chelsea Green? Sure, but I don't think it quite captures her in my personal opinion there. I do like the shades in the hair. I like the attire and everything. I definitely want to track down the chase as I think it's the better gear. But I really like that they... Oh, dude, I was so worried they weren't going to give her boot cut. But thank Christ that they did there. Those really tall boots are awesome with the undo of the strings at the top. She's got sculpted on knee pads, which I think does wonders for the figure here. And I, I am... I think that sometimes the, the sculpted on knee pads are genius and sometimes they don't work. And here I think they really do a do it a great justice. Similar to the Otis figure, I think it just does wonders for the figure in general. So shout out to Mattel on these two figures, man. I'm actually quite blown away. And I would recommend them both in in the fact that, you know, if you're on, if you're okay with that upgrade for Omos. And I think the Chelsea Green's absolutely worth the pickup. I think that this isn't going to be her last figure, and you may be able to head swap it with her basic if you don't like this head sculpt. I just think that they, they could have done her more justice in the facial department. But I do recommend both these figures. I think they are quite good. But at the end of the day, if you guys like these figures, you want to grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Again, man, really impressed with these, and I think you guys will also be impressed, man. But... That is going to wrap the video. Thank you guys so very much for watching, man. I'm so hyped because it's WrestleMania week. We're going to be doing some epic stuff this week. Cannot wait. I legitimately leave in two days. Got a lot of work to do in the office before we head out, so I'm definitely on the grind here today, man. But I would love to know what you think of these figures down in the comment section below. And also check out LA Knight and Terry Gordy's review. But thank you guys for watching. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate all you fellas over there, man. You guys are absolute goats. Also check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, all at My Damn Toys, all straight across. All the same handles across every social media platform. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later.